things Sigma men do when they don't feel good. Sigma males are known for being very strong, but that doesn't mean they never feel sad. Some days just aren't as easy as others. No matter who you are or what kind of personality you have, whether you're an alpha, beta, gamma, or sigma male, everyone has hard times and feels sad and hopeless sometimes. It could be because of hard work or home environment, tension with a partner, dealing with the death of a loved one, or for no reason at all. Regardless, it's never easy to deal with feeling down. There is no easy answer, and there is no magic pill that will make the feelings go away. Each person is different, so the things they do to feel better will also be different. But how does the Sigma male deal with feeling so bad? Here, we'll look at 10 things that Sigma males do when they don't feel good. He cleans up in the spring. When the Sigma male feels sad or down, he will push himself to clean or put things in order. It has been shown that a cluttered, dirty environment is bad for the mind, and the Sigma male knows that when he feels like crap. He feels even worse when things aren't clean and organized. When he's around a lot of mess, he feels more confused, tense, and worried. So, when he's feeling down, he makes a point of getting out the vacuum cleaner and feather duster, knowing that once he's done, he'll feel much better and more in control. Whether he only has 10 minutes to clean out a drawer or wants to do a full spring cleaning. The Sigma male knows that a clean house means a clear mind, and he'll be glad he did it later. He is looking for ideas. The Sigma male is a guy who is naturally smart and interested. When he's not feeling like his usual self, this natural curiosity will probably go down, but he will still look for ways to inspire himself, especially when he's feeling like shit. He might read a book that interests him or start looking up information about a new skill he wants to learn. Today, we are lucky to be able to get all the information and ideas we need with the click of a button. So, the Sigma male is likely to use this wealth of information and spend time looking for inspiration on the internet reading articles and journals, and getting ideas from his role models or finding new ones who motivate and inspire him. He will be alone. When a Sigma male is feeling down, the first thing he will naturally want to do is withdraw from other people. For many people, being alone makes them feel worse, and they need the warmth and energy of others to feel better again. But because he is more introverted and self-reflective by nature, being around other people and socializing too much drains him of energy and makes him less happy. He does best when he is alone and has his own space, so it's not surprising that when he's not feeling well, he will go to a place where he feels safe and comfortable. Which is almost always alone. But when he's alone, what does he do? He thinks. If the Sigma male wants to feel better, he should start by looking inside himself. By nature, he tends to think a lot about himself and finds that self-reflection has a lot to offer. He does this anyway since he is his top priority and it's important for him to keep getting better in all parts of his life and to solve any problems he might be having. So it shouldn't be a surprise that the Sigma male finds a lot of comfort in going inside his head when he's feeling bad so he can look at the facts and start working to fix them. He leaves the house. When it comes to exercise, the Sigma male likes being outside, so if he can do that all-important movement outside, especially in nature, that's even better. All he needs to start feeling better is some sun on his skin and a little gentle movement. He knows that getting enough vitamin D and oxytocin is good for him. Vitamin D helps keep bones healthy, and oxytocin can make you feel less anxious and depressed. If he's down, he might just go for a walk in the park, but when he's feeling better, he loves nothing more than to go for a long hike in the woods, mountains, or wherever else he has access to nature. When he's outside, especially in nature, He's able to clear his mind and stop thinking about things that might be making him feel bad. He works on his mental well-being. When it comes to clearing the mind, the Sigma male likes to work on all of his health, not just his physical health but also his mental and spiritual health. He might like practicing mindfulness or meditation because it helps him find peace and calm when he can clear his mind and focus on the here and now. Mindfulness and meditation have been shown to help a lot with stress, sadness, and anxiety. He might even go to a faraway place, like a Buddhist temple, to find a different kind of peace. He wants to get out of his comfort zone and try something new. He wants to have new experiences, whether it's dealing with bad feelings or just learning more about his spirituality. As an open-minded and curious person, the Sigma male will try anything that might make him feel better and help him get his mind to a better place when he's down. He talks to himself. The Sigma male will make it a point to check in on himself while he is thinking about himself. This means that he will first look at the most basic parts of his physical life to see if his main needs are being met. 
Is he sleeping well and keeping hydrated? Is he giving his body the right kinds of food and enough exercise? He will start by asking himself these basic questions. This way, he can figure out what might be wrong before he starts to think worse and worse about things. Starting with the most basic things, if he's tired, thirsty, or starting to feel bad because he doesn't exercise enough or eats too few fruits and vegetables, these are easy problems to solve. He makes a kind of support system. The Sigma male loves being alone and values his time alone very much. We know this because he is an introvert, and we know that spending time alone is good for him. Even though the Sigma spends more time alone when he's sad, that doesn't mean he's not human and doesn't need a support system like the rest of us. He's not the kind of person who has a lot of friends. This is partly because he's shy, but it's also because he finds more meaningful connections with a smaller group of people and puts quality over quantity. He doesn't depend on his friends and family because he believes in taking care of all of his own needs, whether they are physical, mental, or emotional. But when he's down, he knows he can make a small group of people a support system. He knows whom he can talk to if he just needs to get something off his chest. Sometimes, even if you don't need advice, a friendly ear can help a lot, no matter who you are. Even though the Sigma male is very independent, he isn't afraid to ask for help when he needs it. Or request a hug. He moves around. We all know how important it is to work out regularly, and of course, it has many benefits for your body and mind. Even though you know this, it can be hard to get yourself to a full workout when you're not feeling well. Even though the Sigma male puts his overall health and happiness as one of his top priorities, there are still days when he doesn't want to move. But he is also very self-aware. He knows that if he moves even a little bit, he will feel better right away. Even if he doesn't go all out and work out at the gym for two hours or run a marathon, some gentle stretching, yoga, or even just a walk can do wonders for his mood. His body will be calmer, and his thoughts won't be going so fast. This will give him a better way to deal with the things and feelings that are bothering him. He does what makes him happy. When he feels bad, he might want to curl up in a ball and not move, but the Sigma male knows it's important to be proactive and take small steps to feel better. So he makes himself get out of bed to do something he enjoys, even if it's only for 20 minutes or 4 hours. But he is smart enough to know that whatever he chooses to do, it shouldn't be something that takes extra work, or mental energy, or could make him angry. He might feel better when he paints, cooks, listens to music, or even plays video games, but he knows he needs to do something to release serotonin and balance the chemicals in his brain. And that means doing something that makes him feel good and relaxes him.